All right, in this fifth and final lesson in our Python crash course, we'll dive into how to create a function within the Python programming language. And a function is just a reusable chunk of code. So it offers you an opportunity to define a set of statements or a sequence of commands that you can use over and over again. Now functions can accept inputs, which are called arguments. Uh, sometimes parameters are used to describe the names of those arguments. And functions can also return outputs using the Python return keyword. So as an example, let's say we want to write a formula that converts a Celsius temperature into a uh, Fahrenheit temperature. This isn't a function that's available as part of Python's default set of functions, so it may be a custom one that we have to write. For example, we may be dealing with a data set that gives us all of these temperatures, and we need to write a formula to convert them. So in order to convert a Celsius temperature to a Fahrenheit temperature, we need to multiply it by 1.8 and then add 32. But we don't know what input we're going to get. We don't know uh, what number or what temperature we're going to receive. So whenever we want to basically create a, a, a way that we can solve this problem over and over again, perhaps we're going to be getting different Celsius temperatures, but we don't want to keep rewriting this formula or committing it to memory, we can store it within a function. We create a function by using the DEF keyword, that's short for define, and after a space we write the name of our function. So I'm going to call this function convert to Fahrenheit. I'm going to open my parentheses, which are required here, and here is where we have to write uh, what are called our parameters, which are basically our function inputs. And this function of mine is going to take one input. It's going to be a temperature in Celsius. So I'm going to call that input Celsius temp. So within my function body, Celsius temp is going to represent whatever number the user is going to give this function. Afterwards here, I have to place a colon and then do a line break. And Python bases its uh, function definitions on uh, line indentation. So the function body, which is basically the interior of the function, has to be indented. So you can't just start writing code here. It won't work. It'll trigger an error. So we have to make sure that we do either a tab or four spaces here uh, to start writing our, our actual function body. So what do we want to do with the argument, which is called Celsius temp? Well, we first want to multiply it by 1.8. So let's create a variable that's going to store that result. So I'm going to call it, let's say, product. And it's going to be whatever the user, the user gives me as the Celsius temperature times 1.8. And then I'm also going to create a variable called final. And in order to get my final result, I'm going to have to take my product, which is my calculation that I just did above, and then add a uh, integer value, which is 32 to, to it. So final at this point is going to represent my uh, Fahrenheit temperature. But by itself, th this operation is just performing a bunch of calculations. We haven't told the function yet that we want to return that temperature as the final output uh, of this uh, uh, convert to Fahrenheit function. In order to do that, we have to use the return keyword followed by what we actually want to spit out or what we want to basically give back to the user. And that's going to be the value that's stored in my final variable. So uh, when I execute this with shift enter, we've added this new function. And now in order to call it, we can just reference it like convert to Fahrenheit. And here I could use tab completion by typing just a few uh, letters to begin the function and then pressing tab and it'll automatically fill it in. And whenever we call a function or invoke it, which basically means we just say that we want to use it, we have to write the name followed by a pair of parentheses as well. And then within those parentheses, we write our custom arguments or our inputs. So in this case, we just need to provide one argument, which is going to represent our Celsius temperature. So for example, if I give a value of 35, what it's going to do is take this value and put it through this entire list of processes. It's going to multiply it by 1.8 here. It's going to add 32. And it's finally going to give me back the, uh, the final calculation, which is stored in the final variable. And so 35 is equal to 95 in Fahrenheit. And the great thing about, about this is now I can completely forget about what this formula is because this uh, function is basically going to take care of all the work behind the scenes. So if I come back to this project in a week and I don't remember any of this actual conversion temperature information, but I know that this function serves a purpose, I can give it a brand new value like 20 and it's going to repeat the exact same code or I can give it something like uh, 10, oops, 10 or for example negative 20. And it's going to just keep running that exact same operation over and over again and keep giving me that proper output. So a function, as you can see here, is really optimal for situations where you have code that is likely to be reused or called upon a lot. 
and you don't want to keep rewriting these calculations manually over and over. Rather, you want to basically save them and save them in the form of a chunk of code called a function so then you, you don't have to re-execute re and duplicate your code each time you want to perform a similar operation. So that's a quick introduction to functions within the uh, Python programming language. Again, if uh, you have gone through these last couple lessons and everything is basically knowledgeable and you understand everything that's going on, you are all ready to get started with pandas. And similarly, if you understand 80% of it, maybe it's just things like syntax that you need to familiarize yourselves with, by all means, uh, feel free to keep diving into the rest of the course. If all of this has flown over your head, you, you should take some time to review the basics of Python before you dive into pandas, because things like functions, things like lists, things like dictionaries are going to be critical in understanding some of the components that make up the pandas library. But this concludes our crash course, which also concludes our introductory module to this course. So from now on, we're actually going to be ready to start diving into uh, pandas. So I'll see you in the very next module.